Well, we have all encountered problems that look to be insurmountable. We may have felt boxed in and there was no way out, but that is exactly when God can perform a miracle. If the situation is not impossible, it doesn't require a miracle. So this week we read about the miracle deliverance of the Israelites from Pharaoh and the crossing of the Red Sea and how God set the whole thing up. So welcome to this week's Shabbat Shalom devotional when I seek to share just a little inspiration and bring a little peace to the close of your very busy week. This week's Torah reading is Exodus chapter 13, starting with verse 17 through chapter 17, verse 16. It's called Bishalak, and it means that when Pharaoh let the people go, when he let them go. Yep, Pharaoh let them go. And God takes them the long route to avoid the Philistines because he knew that they couldn't succeed in a war against the Philistines. That was the shortest route. So it said that he took them into the wilderness of Sinai. And then he tells them to turn and camp by the sea. Now here they're pinned in by Pharaoh. Pharaoh's coming from one direction and the sea is in the other direction. You know, that's when the miracle happens and the sea parts. But picture this. God is leading the Israelites with a pillar of fire at night and a cloud by day. In 14 verse 19, it actually says an angel of the Lord led them. So why did God lead them? To get pinned in. If we don't end up in impossible places, we will never know a miracle. It was either all over or God would perform a miracle. Of course, he did the miracle. Now picture this. The sea is in front of them along with the pillar of the cloud and behind them is the angel of the Lord. The angel of the Lord had their back, but by faith Moses raises up his rod and the seas began to part. Now, skeptics like to say that this wasn't a miracle at all, that the water here was probably only about six inches deep. So they just walked across the water. It wasn't a miracle. Well, what a miracle then. Pharaoh drowned in six inches of water. So either way, there was a miracle. Now, maybe you have some impossible situation in your life. So this weekend, as you take a break, turn and face your problem, your impossible situation. Bring it to Him. Raise your hands in faith and watch God perform that miracle that you need. And with that, I wish you Shabbat Shalom.